So in a previous video while talking about Marvel TV, everything getting canceled, and of course the big push for Disney Plus and how there is a perception of value to what's on streaming services and paid services to what's on the actual TV on a channel like ABC, a lot of people got rather mad and I'm going to try to explain what I mean by perception of value and the time you spend watching something and how people's mind kind of works when you're paying for a monthly versus when it's just available. Okay, so let's talk about perception of value and what I mean. So try to listen to this video before you get mad. So when I say Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and then I say Daredevil, perception of value is that Daredevil is worth more. Now we're not talking about the quality of the show. We're talking about where it comes from. Same thing if I was to say Ghost Rider, which would have been on Hulu. And then if I was to say Runaways and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or if I use, let's see, DC, for example, if I say the CW or if I say the DC Universe streaming app, perception of value again tells you that the one that you're paying for more, the one that you pay for monthly, the one that demands you watch it before the month is up, is worth more. Now, this goes all the way back to the older days of the perception of value, where you had HBO, for example, is the first one I really remember being something that, that I'm like, wow, if I pay this amount of money, I can get higher quality content than what's offered on TV on ABC or CBS or NBC because I'm paying money for it to deliver high quality goods. And this takes me back to The Sopranos and The Wire. Because these shows, it felt like they were literally the big budget movies, but just long form and like they were demanding your attention. They were on HBO, which HBO stands for Home Box Office. Again, the perception there was you're paying to bring the box office to your home. It's not ABC. You can't just watch it anywhere. You're paying for the goods that other people can't afford. That's the perception of value. When you think of Netflix and Hulu and all these services, you're thinking of the perception of value again because you're paying for it. It's like free video games. I know so many people that if a game is free to play, they don't want to play it. They're like, oh, it's a free game. I don't care. It's pay to win or it's just not worth my time because it's a free game. But they will play a game that's online if they buy it for 60 bucks and put it in their console or buy digitally for 60 bucks and just play it. If it was the same game, that's exactly how it would be, right? But again, the perception of value is if you're paying for it, it must be worth more than the free thing. So when it comes to ABC, when I said that they're developing a new TV series, but maybe the perception of value isn't there, some people got mad, and I was like, guys, you have to hear what I'm saying. When it comes to Disney+, Plus, the perception of value there is I'm paying six to seven bucks a month. I am getting Marvel Studios content. I'm getting the big budget movie. I'm getting that six to eight episodes constantly, like The Mandalorian, for example. If you hear, oh, new Marvel series on ABC, are you going to expect to see Captain America on there? Are you going to expect to see the likes of She-Hulk or Moon Knight or Blade? Or Captain Marvel appear on an ABC series? Of course you're not. The Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus series has a budget of five to twelve million dollars an episode. The ABC series will be lucky if it does 1.5 to 2. So again, perception of value is in every term something that's very real. If you think about the DC Universe, those shows look better and are better because there's more value in them. Swamp Thing would never have been able to be pulled off on a CW or something because that series cost like $75 million. An entire season of The Flash cost maybe 20. Again, so there's value there in how you perceive something that you're paying for and they know they can deliver the goods. So when you really think about it, that's why I said that this ABC series could be perceived as less. Because let's be real, unless it's top notch and there is some crossover and these characters appear and can cross over from the shows to the movies like so many people have wanted, it's just going to feel like it's another cheap cash grab.